This is Jamie from Stillmeyer Games, and today I'm going to talk about my favorite mechanism in the two-player asymmetric game, Raptor. In Raptor, one player is playing as a mother raptor, the actual dinosaur, and, and her babies, and controlling her, her little baby raptors. And the other player is playing as scientists that are essentially hunting the raptors, but uh, they're not killing them. They're putting them to sleep so they can research them. Um, and the game has a really, really interesting mechanism that I think only works at two players, but let me mention it, and you can let me know what you think, if you think it can work at other player counts as well. In Raptor, simultaneously, each player will choose a card from their deck. So each player is an asymmetric deck, uh, numbered one through nine, but with different card abilities. You reveal those two cards, and the player who played the lower numbered of the two cards ignores the number, really, and just uses the ability. So in this case, if I was playing the scientist, I would get to add two scientists to the board, and that's my turn. The other player, the player with the higher numbered card, and this player gets to go first, so they get a priority. The other player goes second that round, and they ignore their ability and instead look at the difference between the two numbers. Seven minus two is five. And that means that this player ignores this ability and gets to use five action points. There's some different things that you can do with the action points on your player map, like move a little bit or, or attack or, or put uh, the scientist can, can put a, a baby to sleep. Um, and that's it, that's the mechanism. It's such a streamlined mechanism that, that one player gets to use the ability, the player who plays the higher card goes second, but they get action points. And it adds to a really interesting kind of mind game dynamic in the game where you're trying to figure out when is the right time, when do you really need to use the ability on the card versus when is the time that you think your opponent is gonna play a low numbered card and you can play a high number card where you don't really need the ability, but you can get a ton of action points. That is the dynamic itself. It is really interesting to play out in that way, to, to play that guessing game and decide what is the, the top priority for me right now? What do I really need right now at this time? Um, and like I said, I think this only works at two players because uh, it, it, I mean, the dynamic is built around two players. You, you could incorporate it into a multiplayer game where you're all playing at the same exact time, but it might... It might slow down the game quite a bit. If, since you're choosing simultaneously, that would go pretty streamlined. But then when you're activating in different orders, that might, uh, that might bog down the game a little bit. But I'm curious to see if you know of another game that uses a similar mechanism in a multiplayer game, a game with higher than two players, more than two players, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And if you have a different favorite mechanism in Raptor that you'd like to mention, I'd love to hear your thoughts about that in the comments below as well. Thanks.